Alright guys, welcome to This Week in Wrestling, covering everything that's gone on over the course of this past week, a week that's sadly seen Daniel Bryan announce his retirement from the ring. Bryan broke the news on Twitter announcing his immediate retirement before appearing on Raw to address the WWE Universe and reveal that the multiple concussions that he suffered throughout his career are what led to his decision to retire. Bryan said that he'd been ready to return at a moment's notice from WWE and that he was previously cleared last year by the chief neurologist for the Super Bowl in Arizona as well as being cleared by concussion specialists at UCLA, however the results of a new test gave alarming results. While Bryan never went into any details regarding the test on Raw, he did elaborate when speaking to ESPN on Tuesday where he revealed that he underwent an AEG test in New York a couple of weeks ago and the results showed a slowing of brain activity and a small subacute lesion in an area of the brain that causes seizures. Following that, Brian also revealed that he does have a past history of suffering post-concussion seizures which he had kept hidden throughout his career, although he always made a point of informing doctors including the ones that cleared him last year and WWE's own medical team. Obviously, with this news and the fact that the AEG found the cause, then it's no doubt Brian made the decision to retire and accept that there was a problem, but the important thing here is that they did find the cause and while he may not be healthy enough to wrestle, he is healthy. Staying with the Daniel Bryan news and the WWE Network aired a special Daniel Bryan celebration after Raw went off there, but as the program ended, the focus was actually on Titus O'Neil and Vince McMahon, as there appeared to be some kind of altercation between the pair at the end of the show. The altercation featured Titus grabbing the arm of Vince as he made his way to the back, with Vince acting angrily and pushing Titus in a bizarre situation. The incident left Titus with a 90 day suspension for his actions, however that has since been reduced to 60 days. Titus was asked to explain his actions and why he grabbed Vince's arm, to which he explained he was only trying to allow Stephanie McMahon to exit the stage first. Either way, it didn't sit well with Vince and Titus' suspension means he'll now miss WrestleMania. Switching injury news and it appears that things are starting to look up as John Cena took to Twitter to update fans on his condition, revealing that he's already back in the gym lifting and doing squats, although it's unknown how much longer you'll be out of action. Switching from one superhero to another and Stardust has revealed that Arrow star Stephen Amell is getting back into ring shape, the pair set to continue their feud this weekend at the Dallas Comic Con where they're going to be shooting an angle and that should lead up to a singles match between the two, so being a huge fan of Arrow I would love to see this take place, especially if it takes place at Wrestlemania, I just hope they really cash in and we get Amell wrestling as Arrow. In other news, it's been revealed that Kurt Angle will be wrestling his first match since leaving TNA for the UR Fight promotion on March 20th, where he'll go one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio at the Celebrity Theatre in Phoenix, Arizona, with the show also airing live on IPPV. Finally, let's end on some positive news this week as Bret Hart has posted an update on his condition, revealing he underwent successful surgery to remove his prostate following his cancer diagnosis. The Hitman posted the following update on Facebook, writing, Surgery's over and on the long road to recovery. I want to thank Dr. Hindman and the nursing staff at Rocky View Hospital for an outstanding job. I also want to thank my family, friends and fans for all your love and support. Things are looking up and I should be home in the next couple of days. In the words of Vince McMahon, it's onwards and upwards. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week in wrestling. Let me know your thoughts on all of this week's stories in the comments. Have a lovely Valentine's weekend and until next time, I'll catch you later.